Walking up to the finish line at the end of 10 tours generates a mixture of feelings from pride and satisfaction to total exhaustion. These 14 and 15 year olds from Chu Valley School took on the 35 mile challenge this weekend and got through it together. It's tiring but we feel good at the end. When, when we were coming up the hill and everyone was cheering, it was really good. I think we've worked more as a team than we have in practice, which is good. And um, yeah, just completing it together is quite nice as a team. No one dropped out, so that was all right. There's no more comforting prize at the finish than a hug from mum or dad. Don't forget, they're going through all the emotions too. Proud, um, tearful and also really excited. Only problem is they'll want to do the 45 now. More than 2,000 teenagers from across the southwest have battled ever-changing weather conditions over the weekend to trek 35, 45 or 55 miles across the tough terrain of Dartmoor. And despite the cold wind, rain and sub-zero temperatures overnight, more than 80% of them completed the challenge. Well, I have to say that uh, we've had appalling weather. We've had the four seasons in, uh, in, in a matter of hours. But the overall uh, impression we've had is that young folk who have been taking part in this have uh, been real stalwarts and we're very proud of them and they deserve their medals at the end of this. It's not just the competitors who learn from this exercise, it's useful for the armed forces and the emergency services too. We put on exercise wide and tour to allow as many military and civilian multi-agency organisations to work together once a year so that when we have a real catastrophe, like the Somerset floods, as an example, early part of this year, we don't have to retrain, we just know what we have to do and we, and we get on and do it. The aches and pains will fade in the coming days, but the satisfaction of having taken on the challenge of 10 tours should stay with them for a lot longer than that. Bob Cruz, ITV News.